reaching the students and ensuring the continuity of education were the main goals of the various initiatives by the Department of Education. One of these initiatives is the use of radio-based learning modality. Committed to deliver quality distance learning, the school's Division Office of Iriga City conducted a dry run on the implementation of radio-based instruction or RBI as alternative learning modality at Don Lazaro Madara Memorial School sa Nicolas, Iriga City on Friday morning, July 31, 2020. Pursuant to the adoption of Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan, SDO Iriga City, headed by the school's division superintendent, Dr. Cecil Bernadette Rivera, immediately responded to the regional office's mandate to practice implementation of radio-based instruction as augmentation to modular learning modality intended for Indigenous Peoples Education or IPED. Prior to its implementation, series of preparations were conducted starting first week of July. Coordination meetings were conducted through the Division IPED focal person, Dr. Alex Butter. He immediately oriented the host school and then he secured the pre-prior consent from the chieftains of the four IP communities. Moreover, a survey, mapping, and profiling of the learners were also carried out by the school led by the principal, Mr. Irvin Bona. With the supervision of Dr. Gerson Toralde, Chief of the Curriculum Implementation Division, the RBI team was formed. He also monitored the progress of the team and the specific assignments given, such as the module, radio script, and technical concerns. Being Filipino, as the chosen learning area for RBI, Dr. Rechi Salcedo, EPS in Filipino, assisted in editing the module and the script. The Assistant School's Division Superintendent, Dr. Maria Magnolia Berioso, also set a final briefing with the EPS in charge, the RBI team, and the school personnel. Afterwards, Parents' Learning Action Cell was conducted by the school with the assistance of the EPS School Monitor, Dr. Florenia Turalde. 25 IP learners in Grade 6 were identified as subjects for the RBI dry run. During the conduct of the activity, they received copies of the module in Filipino and at the same time, listened intently to their transistor radios for the 30-minute radio instruction anchored by teacher Eda Dato and teacher Antonio Vista with the radio teacher Mom Isaac Lett. Pupils with no available radios at home were gathered in a community learning center while wearing masks and observing physical distancing. Since only few households have radios, other pupils sit with their neighboring classmate to learn in tandem. During the airing of the lesson, several teachers and school heads also conducted observation, monitoring, and interview with the parents regarding the RBI modality. Since this practice activity aims to improve the RBI delivery in its actual implementation, a debriefing session was conducted together with all the personnel involved. As the SS Rivera commended the hard work of the school and the teams for the successful dry run. Facilitated by Mom Florenio Toralde, the debriefing discussed several observations. Suggestions were also raised by the production team, observers, and school heads. The Division Information Officers, Sir Virgilio Puso and Dr. Belen Pili, also shared their observations and technical feedback. The production team, chaired by Ma Maricel Bernal, expressed her appreciation of the all-around task performed by the team. Although there was a struggle in reducing the 24-page module into 12-page module to fit the 30-minute radio format without compromising the required competency, Mom Edadato, as the scriptwriter, said that preparing the script was easy because the self-learning module is ready for RBI conversion. Despite the challenge posed to parents on facilitating their children using multiple modalities, on a positive note, the IP community's approbation of the program was evident in their willingness to support their children's education. In partnership with 107.1 Radio Natin Iriga, 
as the OERIGA City will air radio-based instructions as supplementary to modular learning every Friday, catering different learning areas and grade levels through session air program via radio and Facebook page. As a form of distance learning, radio-based instruction is indeed expanding access to education by bringing it to where the learners are. Hence, as the OERIGA City sustains its best efforts to deliver not just one, but multiple learning modalities to ensure the continuing education of Irigenio learners. <music>